Hello, uh, my name is Shiming. You can call me um, basically Shiming. So this is going to be a video about AutoCAD plus Sketchbook Designer. From what I've talked about in the Sketchbook Designer um, intro and the review, today I'm going to show you how does it work between those two programs. So let's jump right into it. Uh, let me close this. So now we start in AutoCAD. Once you install Sketchbook Designer, you once you open up AutoCAD on the menu on top with the home, insert, etc., go up all the way to the far right, you'll see the Sketchbook Designer. And then we'll click on the Sketchbook Designer, and then we will see a new menu. We have we have new canvas and I'll explain more of these later. So what I want to show you is how to go from AutoCAD right into Sketchbook Designer. Alright, let's start. So first I'm gonna go to home and then I'm going to change my units to architectural like we always do. Say for example I have a plan of a house and I'm assuming these rectangles represent the floor plan of the house and I'm going to change them red just so that I can see them much more clearly now I'm going to go into sketchbook designer and then I'm going to click on new canvas And also my laptop is rather slow, so it'll take a little bit of time to to load. Now, once this, you'll notice that a blue rectangular box will show up once you click on Create Canvas. What this is, and this option right here, is basically what it is. Create a canvas so that you can sketch in Sketchbook Designer. Now for architects, I think it's very, this program is very good in doing this so that if there's an area that you are not sure about and you want to explore options for arranging the bedrooms, the living room, etc., you can just put this into Sketchbook Designer and just sketch it out really fast. Everybody can sketch out really fast. So this is, I think this is a wonderful integration for Autodesk to do. So now, so what this is, you drag the corners and you drag the sides and to create that canvas. You, what you can also do is to come in into width and height over here to the paper size and and create your own dimensions. So for example, if I put 60, that's going to be in inches. So that's going to be a 5 foot paper size. Now of course it's going to be too large um, in terms of like real paper. but like for you to print it out, it'll be too large to actually then you need to apply it on um arch D or more. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say 80 inches so I could encompass the whole entire floor plan. And you'll notice that as you increase in the resolution over here is that when you increase the size of the paper, the pixel per inch actually decreases. So what it is is that it will try to optimize the pixels per inch so that when you have a smaller paper size then your pixels per inch will increase so you have more higher resolution. So for example once you have a very large site plan and you want to sketch over it then the pixel per inch actually reduces to one pixel per inch. So that way even if you have a s slow laptop like the one I have then you still will be able to sketch in Sketchbook Designer and bring it back here. Now, one very important thing that I need to mention is that under vector underlay over here, this section, you need to enable the vector underlay. What this is is that it will take the the lines from AutoCAD and then put them in a layer in Sketchbook Designer so that you could hide it, you could um, you can deal with transparency and make it less transparent uh, or more transparent and now then I'll click in and we'll do 2D wireframe I guess if you have a 3D model say in AutoCAD then you will you might want to choose hidden 
but I have to uh, look it into more into that. So I'm going to just click on 2D wireframe because I know that function works. Now we have two options to preserve the layers or merge into a single layer. What this is is for the red, the floor plan. And then I'm sure you're going to have a lot to like better organize AutoCAD, you're going to have a lot of layers. Now to make it easy for Sketchbook Designer, I'm just going to say merge into a single layer. But one thing to note is that for these, for the layers in Sketchbook Designer, the layers is not affecting the layers that you get in AutoCAD. So even if I merge in a single layer here, it will not affect the layers you have created basically in AutoCAD. Now, Paint on the layer is for raster images, and we'll get into that later in another video. Now I'm just going to click apply. Now the rectangular, rectangle, rectangular, rectangle changes color. You'll notice it's much more bold. Now we are under select canvas. If you want to deselect this canvas, then you click on it, and then you'll see that. It's different canvas and now you can go and then draw a line if you have if you do not deselect the canvas you cannot do any other AutoCAD function to it it'll always tell you to deselect the canvas first or exit the canvas now I'm just gonna select the canvas and then once it's selected it becomes blue now and then I'm going to show you two other important palettes in, uh, in this section. First is the layer section. As I talked about, the layers is not affecting the AutoCAD layers. Those are two different um, entities. So I am going to create a new paint layer and label it AutoCAD just to show you that once you bring this into Sketchbook Designer, you have the power to exchange the layers of this specific function. And you'll notice that zero over here, this layer, is a default layer that I drew all my rectangles on. Now if you're if you pre, if you preserve all the layers, you have multiple layers in um, for AutoCAD. And then the layers actually show up in this pink color. Now I'm gonna move and show you and then directly let's let's dive into Sketchbook Designer. So I'm gonna click click Sketchbook Designer and then I'll take a minute to load up. Wait for it, and now here we are in Sketchbook Designer. Then you'll notice first thing I want to point out is that in the layer, as we talked about, all the layers is right here. Now we could we could either hide the zero layer, which is from AutoCAD. That way, and we can also change and play with the transparency so that you can see better. And then let's go back. Now, this AutoCAD layer is the same layer we created in AutoCAD. We can also create a new paint layer and let's call the sketch book so that we'll know that this will also transfer back into AutoCAD and become a layer. I hope that's not too confusing. So it is really light and faint. The border of the canvas is really hard to see. But let me show you that I'll change it into black for the canvas. And it'll take a second. And then of course the opacity I have to make it to 100. So by default it's transparent. Now the opacity to 100, now you can see the border that we drew in and um, the, the, I mean the border, the canvas that we started with in AutoCAD is the same border that we have here. And the pixels is the 52 inches per inch, inch pixel per inch. Now so let's start to, um, let's start by drawing and into the sketchbook layer. And this is a paint there's different type of layers. There's paint layer, and to the left is the vector layer. So vector layer is all vectors, and you can adjust the the polylines, and then the paint layer is all will be as a raster image in AutoCAD. So that aside, I'm just going to take a pen, and then I'm going to draw in white because I have the background in. Um, actually, let me change the background back to white, so that 
it'll be much easier to see once we go back into AutoCAD. Now, I'm going to take a black pencil. I'm going to play with the intensity. I can make play with the size because the paper size is so large. I'm going to make the size of the pencil the maximum size of 12. And then I'm just going to draw on it. I'm going to take notes and then I'm going to play with the new arrangement of the floor plan. And then I'm going to try to stack this up and create a new design. Right, sketchbook design. What I would also suggest is that because the scale in here is relative to what you've done in AutoCAD, sometimes I would put a scale right here just so that I could measure off and then have a visual for myself. That's not too hard to do. And then, so now, say we have finalized these, we have labeled them to living room. I should make another color. Let's go blue. So we have living room, we have dining room, and then we have bedroom. Say that's our new configuration for the plan. Now, once you're done, you'll notice that on the top menu right here, this toolbar, normally you won't see this check. This is return to AutoCAD. So once you're done, you can return to AutoCAD. You click on that, it'll ask you if you want to save your document. Now, be sure to save your document. Always. Auto save. Now we're back into AutoCAD. And that sketchbook layer from what we created, it's in here. So now if we turn this off, you'll see that whatever we drew becomes invisible. And then AutoCAD, we did, well, we don't do anything in AutoCAD. But then, but then it doesn't matter at the moment. So now you notice that the blue is still bold, so we need to deselect um, the canvas. But before I do that, I want to show you another thing for the palettes, is that you come into portfolio. Once you come into portfolio, a new portfolio manager pops out on the left hand side or wherever you have set it. And what it is, remember how we save the image in Sketchbook Designer. What this is, is that every single time you bring your canvas into Sketchbook Designer and you come back again, it will save it as an you can it stores it in the memory and then you can bring back any sketches you have done for this file and then that is that just comes to show you that you could actually track your design ideas while in AutoCAD that way you can create a process presentation of how you arrive at this idea with scale, with color, with all of that stuff you can do with Sketchbook Designer. And then I think that this right here is why I like Sketchbook Designer so much. And it's not just for industrial designers. Even for interior designers, architects, um, all sorts. It's, it's just amazing. Um, so, and then the function of these, you can also delete them and then you can place a canvas uh, or you can export. And in a different way, you can actually hold the left mouse button and then there's the options that you can rotate just uh, as the same UI interface as the Sketchbook Designer. Now I'm just going to close this off and then I am going to click on Select Canvas so that I could deselect it. And of course, if you have any other questions or you have any confusion about this program, click on Help. I mean, Sketchbook Designer is not a hard program to learn. It's almost the same level of, um, of learning curve as the SketchUp from Google. Now, I have selected the canvas. And in that right now, if you can also change the canvas right here by resizing it, etc., etc. And then, I'm not going to go into that. What I'm just going to go into... I'm not gonna. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna edit it. I'm gonna deselect it. I'm gonna go back to home and say I've drawn all of these in paint in the Sketchbook Designer, and then I'm gonna adjust my design. So I'm gonna take what I've drawn from AutoCAD, and then I am going to place these. So, so you notice that I have deleted the this red. Let's say this is the living room. 
and then let me change the color to um, let me change it to a green color. So you'll notice that this box still remained remain in in this canvas. So the canvas will still keep a record of the layer zero in here. So what you have to do is to deselect the zero layer so that it actually disappears. And now what you're left with is just the raster image you have drawn in Sketchbook Designer. So I'm going to take that, come in here, and start to lay out that new house that I have designed it, that option that I have designed it in Sketchbook Designer. And then I can delete these two, create new rectangles for the rooms and some stacking, and then I could play with these. And that's how easy it is. Now, if you want to take out this canvas, I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to go into Sketchbook Designer, come to Portfolio. Whenever I want to place, I can always place back the canvas. You can click on the insertion point, and then you can put it back in right there and you'll always have it with you and let me delete that so that is it for this video I just want to show you how useful sketchbook designer is basically to all designers especially for architects where in AutoCAD we are always dealing with straight lines even with polylines there's all those different points etc and then sometimes it's just really hard to design in AutoCAD I find it hard to design in AutoCAD I'd rather have a pencil and then with Sketchbook Designer and my Wacom tablet I could just go back and forth between drawing and CADing and then the ideas just flow much more easily I think that for my next video, I want to show you how to get the vector layer from Sketchbook Designer. Once you've drawn something in that, how to actually use those lines and transfer it back into AutoCAD so that the lines you have actually drawn in Sketchbook Designer as a vector, it becomes a polyline once you come back to AutoCAD. And then I think that if you create a very nice line, a very nice curve, you have done that. You don't have to retrace it. You can just bring it back in, and it's already drawn. So, thanks for watching. Um, please leave a comment. Again, this is like one of my first videos about uh, tutorial. So do leave a comment of anything you want to see. Uh, if there's any improvement that I can work on, and then. If there is something that I could improve on, that would be awesome. Uh, just let me know. And then, yeah, if you have any other questions about Sketchbook Designer, please let me know. Uh, I think I'm going to put up some more videos about how to actually use Sketchbook Designer much more efficiently from um, an architectural point of view. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.